So you can see the fleet all blazing away down there under Spinnaker and uh, you might be able to pick up Grant Rollison just turning that can now. So he's our leader still and uh, pretty much the same sort of a lead that he had when he went through the gate. So it's the line ball at the moment. Second boat around Thurlow. Can't count him, OCS. And interestingly, the next boat is going to be Alex Valling's CT Battens. They did a great job. They went right in close to the shore going down there, I noticed, and uh, picked off Smeg and and one other boat, I think, was uh, John Winning in the Yandu. So Alex Valling's uh, in the CT Battens is doing a nice job and um, probably caught, of anybody that's caught Rollo, it would be that boat. So all around, pretty much all around that bottom mark now. So they come back to the gate for the first time. We'll pick it up there for you. So we just thought we'd turn the camera on. We're on Smeg, Nicky Press and uh, Danny Phillips here. And uh, they've been taking up this shore. They're the only one that's done that. All the other boats have gone the usual track right out wide. And uh, Smeg has decided to short tack this shoreline. Now, not too bad a, a plan, actually. But I think, well, Rollo's still certainly going to get through the gate first. But I was interested to see how he was going to go with that big cruise boat that was uh, ploughing along. But he's got across in front of that quite safely. So looking back out towards the gate, Simon, if you put the camera around, you can see Grant Rollison on approach to the gate. So he's done a pretty nice job here. And uh, Trevor Barnabas on the way up there, not that it would have mattered to him, he's had a little capsize. So just to uh, add, add more salt to the wound, which he doesn't know about yet. But anyway, through goes Rollo. Nice job so far. One more lap to go from here. And uh, he'll be getting the gun, but... It's too early to say. Rollo can pull anything out of the hat here. Can uh, run from victory and capsize quite easily, our boy. Now, the interesting race is between Alex Vallings and Iandu. Forget Thurlow Fisher, but you can see John winning over the top of uh, CT Battens, which I would think that CT Battens is probably line balling with Woody there. He's a little bit advanced to lure it. Woody's sort of got his bow down and these sails to come in here. So a nice race for second. Smeg uh, will have a pretty close tussle there with, uh, I think it's Howie Hamlin coming back into it. So that's it, through the gate for the first time on, on, on our way to the Golden Gate for the second time. So what we're looking at, folks, is uh, that fog line under the Golden Gate just a few moments ago it come right across to us and we lost the whole fleet into the fog and we we're probably scratching our heads to think how they're going to find the mark but the fog has just cleared a bit and you can, we can see the fleet coming out of the fog and the guess what Grant Rollison has just gone round the mark so well done Rollo he's got his fog lights on and jibe set yep you learnt from yesterday jibe set's the way to go up there and uh, he's our leader uh, for the final lap and uh, he's got a very handy lead now. Uh, John Winning, I think, has probably worked his way up into second place. I can see Thurlow Fisher, or is that... I think there's two boats, Thurlow and another boat. Maybe that's CT Battens um, just in front of uh, Woody. Thurlow is OCS, so he doesn't, he doesn't uh, take any part in our, uh, our uh, podium here unfortunately. So yeah, I think that's CT Batten's coming into second, just in front of John Winning in third place. So Woody's stringing some very solid uh, races together so far. It's coming into the jibe now. I think you'll find both of those boats will jibe set. Woody is trying to come over the top of... No, they're both through. So that's it, folks. The rest of the boats are in the fog. We can't really tell you much there. Smeg's Coming back towards the mark, he'll be probably in uh, fourth position. And Grant Rollison is on his way to the, the gate mark. Back to you shortly. So we've got the camera on uh, Grant Rollison's guys as they go into a job to set up for the, uh, the gate. And uh, nicely executed. Not the slickest job we've seen from them, but uh, good enough. So Grant, and you can see... The two white shoots there, that's uh, Thurlow Fisher out wide, Trevor, he's really smoking in on a pretty hot angle, and uh, but he's not in it as we said, and the blue shoot belongs to Yandu, and the white shoot in close to us is CT Battens. 
And the other boat out there with that you can see behind John winning is Howie Hamlin uh, on the on the move finally trying to haul up into this podium and uh, doing a mighty fine job because Hay was back in about seventh or eighth coming down here the first time. So all to play for down this uh, last run to Alcatraz. And that's a ding-dong scrap going on right there. Alex Vallings. Sorry, that isn't, is not Howie Hamlin. Howie's further behind. He's in... Uh, Howie's in sixth right now. So that's actually Merskeline, I believe. Graham Catley's boat. Yeah, Merskeline. They're having a good race today. 43 second lead, Rich. Okay, Richie Roberts just telling us that there's a, that's a 43 second lead. That's a real big lead on a day like today. A lot of distance in 43 seconds. So that's it for the uh, gate mark for the last time. Down to Alcatraz and back, and back up to the, uh, the judge. So here comes Grant Rollison's team. Mounts Bay Sailing Club, Western Australia. All the way winner today, Grant Rollison. Uh, welcome to the Winners Club. So we're going to get the gun any second. If you turn the camera around, uh, Simon, you'll get one of the craziest scenes you've ever got. Young Jessica is about to pull the trigger on this massive shotgun. And it's got quite a bang. So it'll be three, two, one, any second, that. <laughs> no cartridge, I'd say. She's don't aim it at us. Anyway, cross goes um, Rollo, all the way winner of Heat Five of the International, and a real ding dong battle going on here, which I think is going to be won by CT Batten's Alex Vallings. That's his best placing so far. First of the Kiwi contingent, so Alex gets a. Nice little two in heat five. Of course, Trevor Barnabas doesn't count for this one. He was OCS, as we've been telling you. So Trevor, bad luck. Would have been a third, as it turns out, after even after a capsize. So, but what we, what we do know is that uh, Trevor usually wins the, the afternoon heat. He's done it twice. He did it on uh, Sunday. He did it yesterday. And uh, just have to wait and see if he can pull the bullet. He's certainly sailing quick enough. And Mr. Consistency, Yandu, John Winning, Gibbo and Noddy across in officially third third spot. And another OCS boat, who unfortunately has also, also sailed very well in this race, but, oh, hang on, they've just, no, that's Graham Gat. Catley's boat. Sorry, I keep getting mixed up with uh, Harkin. So that's Graham Catley. Great job, Graham. Uh, he's officially fourth in this heat. And how he's clawed his way back into fifth. And Smeg, Nick Press, and the boys will take a sixth. They've probably sailed further than anybody else out there on the course today, trying to crack back into that top three. They worked all the way up this shore, which was a bit painful for them. But uh, That'll be it for us. That's heat, uh, heat 5 done and dusted. Come back to you very shortly for Heat 6.